about uh, Pakistan, especially in Punjab. And uh, so uh, uh, we are helping all the minorities to get their rights. And as, especially we are trying to represent them in the, all the legal forums and as well as in the courts so that their rights can be protected. I would like to give you a brief in, uh, introduction about the present situation of uh, minorities. Is I have given, tried to sum up the situation, the legal situation in few words, but then they are not few words. Uh, you can get the little uh, glimpse of what is happening in Pakistan. The Pakistan is an immensely poor country, criticized in religion, sectarian, eco, linguistic diversities. It is overwhelming Muslim community, more than 90% of its inhabitants adhere in to Islam, yet they belong to several uh, doctrine groups Sunni Muslims are in the ascendant with the Shia Muslim and the Greece facing discrimination in discrimination. In 1974, the Pakistan National Assembly declared and is also called Qadiyan is a non-Muslim minority. There are several Christian denominations, Buddha, uh, uh, Mahais, Hindus, Jains, Falkas, Parsi, Sikhs, and who identify themselves as non-Muslims. Pakistan was envisioned as a progressive, democratic, and tolerant society which will retain a Muslim majority would be give equal rights to an, its non-Muslim citizen. Without calling it a secular state, Janaz and his modernized Muslim colleague believe that Pakistan would be empowered its people, socio-economic condition and the people of its all faith and practices would continue to live as equal citizens. On 11 August 1947, in of the quoted speech of the first constant assemblies of Pakistan, Janaz said, you are free, you are free to go to your temples, you are free to go to your mosque, your other place of worship in the Pakistan, state of Pakistan. You may belong to any religion, caste or creed that is nothing to do with the business of the state. We are starting with the fundamental principle that we are all citizens, equal citizens of one state. Now I think we should keep that in front of us of our idea, ideal and you will give that in course of time Hindu would cease to be Hindu, Muslim would cease to be Muslim. So so not so the religion sense because that is the personal faith of each individual, but in the political sense a citizen of the state. This is considered to be a charter of Pakistan and summarization of Jan Dinas view on the role of religion and the state, but over the succeeding decades, decades especially in 1970s and 1980s, the Pakistan state, rather than guarantee equal right and equal opportunities to Muslim and non-Muslim citizens, began to encourage obstructant forces. Pakistan population who are, uh, who are Christian, they are in almost 50-50 divided between Catholic and Protestant denominations. Cities like Lahore, Haslabad, Gujranwala, Multan, Rawalpindi, Peshawar, areas of Bahawalpur, Hyderabad, Kuwaita have always been a sizable number of Christians engaged in various professions in their itself service sectors. According to the Constitution of 1973, defined Pakistan is an Islamic state, although insufficient attention was given to this area given the Janas ideals of separation of religion and politics. The framework of the Constitution were of a mostly lawyers, politicians who were concerned about the threat to the country and found Islam at a general level to be a helpful binding factor. Bhutto himself initiated one of the Prime Minister initiated the process of amendments in the constitution which are consolidated by Zia. General Zia was a dictator when uh, ATC came to the power. And led to the uh, institutionalization of the minorities and other unprivileged groups such as women. Article 2 of the constitution states Islam shall be the state religion of Pakistan. And Article 2a stipulate wherein the principal democracy, freedom, equality, tolerance and social justice as initiated by the Islam shall be fully observed in addition to Article 227 obtained that no law repugnant to Islamic injection can be imposed in Pakistan. Article 41 Proviso 2 state that the head of the state will be a Muslim and Article 91 Proviso 3 stipulate that Prime Minister shall also be a Muslim believing in the finality of the who believing in the finality of the Prophet. Such articles gave a way to the Muslim clergy demands, allowing them an uh, interpretive role. Article 228 established the Council of Islamic Ideology in the role to oversee the legislation. 
the federal sharia court established by zia general zia under article 203 proviso 8 to 7 enjoys additional powers similar to those of the council under the article 230d the sharia court can declare any law different if it is assumed to be against islamic injunction that later one of the prime minister nawaz sharif sharia act 1980 made sharia pakistan supreme law article 31 calls on government to promote an islamic way of life also article 20 ensured each citizen right to freedom right to profess religion and to manage religious institution article 22 ensures freedom in the religious institution by not requiring any individual to receive religious instruction take part in any religious ceremony or to attend religious worship if such institution ceremony or worship relate to religion other than his own article 33 make the state responsible for safeguard the legitimate right and interest of the minorities including their representative in the national provincial civil services although the procedure are not clear article 36 this is the main article further promises the protection of the minorities where article 40 highlight the need to strengthen the relationship with the muslim and the promotion of the international peace but the highest office of the land being constitutional close to minorities just to second class citizenship to them such a measure as originally stipulated in objective resolution rather than institutionalization their inequality this was in conflict with the several human rights convention